Hey everybody! Today I'm going to be making a delicious carrot cake. There is a lot of ingredients, so I'm going to be doing the cake ingredients first and then I'll do the icing ingredients later. We're going to use two cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to use one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of cinnamon, one half teaspoon of nutmeg, one half teaspoon of allspice, one cup of dark brown sugar or light brown sugar, whichever you have on hand, one half cup of uh, regular sugar. I'm using Splenda, you could use any kind you want. Three cups of grated carrots, uh, one half cup of raisins, one half cup of crushed pineapple. Now make sure your pineapples are drained because you don't want them wet. One half cup of coconut, uh, four eggs, they're back there, one cup of coconut oil, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and one tablespoon of rum extract. Now I'm putting one cup of chopped walnuts in my cake. You don't have to, that's optional. Okay, I have all my dry ingredients in my mixing bowl. I'm going to start incorporating my wet ingredients. While this is mixing, I'm going to add my four eggs. Then I'm going to add my crushed pineapple. Then I'm going to add my coconut oil. When you add your coconut oil, stop your mixer, take it down, and scrape down your sides and get everything, make sure everything is incorporated. Then I'm going to add my vanilla extract, my rum extract, then I'm going to add my carrots, After that's mixed for a while, you add your coconut, then you add your raisins, and then if you choose to add chopped walnuts, add your chopped walnuts. If not, then just leave them out. And make sure you mix everything really good, and if you have to, make sure you stop it and get all your sides incorporated. Bring it back up and mix it really good. Okay, while, it, while your cake batter is mixing, preheat your oven to 325 and then get a bun pan or I guess a regular pan if you want to use that and spray it with canola oil. Okay, this is what your cake looks like in the pan and then you put it in your oven at 325 for 45 minutes or until your cake is done with a toothpick. Okay, now on to the icing ingredients. I used eight ounces of cream cheese, one stick of butter, one teaspoon of rum extract, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two cups of powdered sugar. Mix all that together. First you cream your cream cheese and your butter. Then you add your rum extract and your vanilla extract and you mix it. Then you add the powdered sugar. Okay, when you're mixing your icing, make sure you drop your bowl down and you scrape the sides down so everything is incorporated. Okay guys, after 45 minutes, this is what my cake looked like. And this is what my icing looks like. Now when my cake cools, I will icing in my cake. Now if your icing is a little too thick, just get some of the pineapple juice and put it in to make it a little thinner. Okay, here's the cake all icinged up. I did not use all the icing, so if you don't need to use all your icing, don't feel like you have to. I got an extra bag of walnuts and I sprinkled walnuts on top of my cake. You don't have to. You could also put a little bit of cinnamon on top if you would like. Enjoy!